Welcome back to Suno Studio. The last time we met, I was showing you a composition. I created a piano track from scratch, and then I started laying other pieces on it, and it ended up sounding like this. A bright and lovely day today. Everything is going my way. Just as I say, what a delight. So at a point, you can hear the vocals are going out of sync. You can also see it on here. So I need to drag part of this one up. You can see where it starts going a little bit out of sync. You can see from the waveform here. So what I would need to do with the backing vocals is split this and just drag it a little bit to a line. Hold down the control key and you have more freedom to make things sync up. So I'm going to play it and see if that remedied the problem. Oops. We don't want to do that. Let's undo. Okay. Let's listen. Just enjoy and chill. Stress-free is all I want so still not quite, there we go. So it went out of sync in quite a few places. It started there. I see another one over here. The waveform never lies. You see the waveform, you can tell when things start going weird. Somewhere around here, let's listen. Stress-free is all I wanna be. Try again. Stress-free is all I wanna be. Oh. All right, I think that kind of fixed it. Stress-free is all I wanna be. Okay, this needs to be moved up a little bit there. Let's try to stress free is all I wanna be. Stress free is all I wanna be. Okay. So now you can see how you can split stuff and move it around because sometimes parts of the music is in sync and other parts are not. Okay. The other thing I want to show you is right over here on the right hand side. So if you click in this section, this section might be hidden for you, but if you click on this section that has this icon to the right, over here next to export, top right, it will expand this section. And if you click on track, you now see it has EQ available for you to play with. And you can toggle the EQ on or off. So if I wanted to apply EQ to any track, I just click on that track. And that's the EQ form for all of these different tracks, as you can see. So if I wanted to EQ just my keyboard, I'll put it on solo mode so I can hear it real good. Press play. And I'll begin to manipulate the waveform. Let's bring it to the center a bit. You can hear that difference. And you've got the different bands. One, two, three, four, and five. You've also got some pre-selected waveforms or pre-cooked waveforms you could choose for each one of these. You've got frequency, you've got gain and resonance. And you can play with these to get a better sound. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. 
and let's listen to the vocals. The vocals. Lovely day today. Everything is going my way. Just as I say, what a delight. Just enjoy and chill. Stress free is all I wanna be. Ooh. As you can see, there are so many parameters you can play with, and I just wanted you to be aware of that. So you can go in there and add some spice to your tracks. Okay. And if you don't want to mess with any of that and you just want to, you know, adjust it in your door, then go ahead and do that. Thanks for joining. I hope this made sense and I wish you all the best in your creativity. Bye for now.